Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Hot Channel. For people that don't know, my name is NS. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them online in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. Yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide, now I respect the decision. But for now, let me fulfill again another request which is how to edit your footer on your Shopify store and completely change it however you want. I will explain every option it has, how to add menus, how to remove them, add logo and so on. And I will also share with you some free calls as a bonus, which is the first one will make the payments icons because if you don't want to, you should add payments icon on the footer. In this video, I will share a code with you that will make those payments icon interactive. Once you hover over them, it, they interact. Each payment icon interacts by itself. The second code will make the logo black and white, but once you hover over it, it becomes on color. And I'm talking about the logo on the, on the footer. If you don't want to add the logo, then you don't need this code. But I would recommend you to do so, and I would recommend you to make it black and white and on hover it becomes color and that creates a contrast between the logo on the header and the logo on the footer. And the third code, because yes, as I said, three codes, not one or two, three codes. The third code will be actually for the uh, social media icons because the ones that's available on the team, they are not that good. They are tiny and you, can, you cannot actually resize them. They are not very obvious and also they don't look good. So no worries, in this video I will share a code with you that will add the social media icons interactive and they look very good and they attract attention. And if you are a subscriber on my channel, you already know this, I don't share codes that will just do the job. I share things that will make your Shopify store stand out. And the Shopify store that you see right now in front of me is actually a good example. Because as you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video adds small customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team would be completely different. But now I reached that level halfway. Check out, for example, this scroller logos, as you can see with the fade of the corners. Once you hover over it, it stops, or even better, the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And it's highly customizable. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I have six products added to the cart, and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor. So I will act just like I want to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and it would only show up once the user trying to leave or close the page. And yes, you guessed that right. It's by using your own custom code, no applications involved. And it has a button, of course, so he can pay you the money he owes you and go check out. But many, many more stuff I cannot mention in one video. Everything you see here, I did in tutorials. Literally everything I did in tutorials. So if you saw anything that you like, you think it looks good, actually just check out the channel and you will see them for yourself. But yeah, in this video, we will actually edit the footer. And if you are wondering how the payments icon look like after it becomes interactive, here it is. As you can see, these ones are actually interactive. Once I hover over it, each icon is interactive by itself. This is exactly how we make them by using a very short code and completely free. Everything is free on this channel. So we will actually do demonstration on a different team, which is Horizon, the new one, because the steps are exactly the same on every Shopify team. However, on Horizon, it has extra blocks that you can add on the footer. On down team, there is like five or four. So if you're using down team, you'll be able to follow along with this video and actually minus extra steps that you don't have to do. But if you're using Horizon team, then this video will help you out. So whatever team you are using, this video will be useful for you. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. So let's just close this one. As I said, we will do demonstration on Horizon, which is this one right here. So if you are a Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams. And this is the team where we're going to do demonstration, which is Horizon. So let me open up the team in a new tab. Then we will do demonstration on it, just so I can show you how the footer looks like currently. 
and here it is it doesn't look that interesting doesn't have anything actually yeah just a couple of uh, legal links and powered by Shopify I will also show you how to edit this powered by Shopify no worries I will show you how to edit that in this video so let's just get back in here the first thing you're going to do is click on customize for the team you are using in my case I'm, I'm doing demonstration on horizons I'm gonna click on edit customize sorry and it will open up the team editor then scroll all the way down and simply click on the footer and if you are wondering the footer will uh, actually be visible across all the pages on your product page so you don't have to do uh, to, to edit the footer on each page no you just have to edit it on the home page and it will be the same changes will apply across all the pages so as you can see I'm accessing the home page make sure you do so so as you can see each element here is a block for example this heading is a block if you want to delete it you can delete it using this icon right here if you want to just hide it and keep it you can use this icon and if you want to bring it down below the text you can actually do that instead of you can drag and drop using the the elements in here the blocks but sometimes uh, it can be messy you can use this buttons right here once you hover over it yeah this one's right here you can click on it and it will move actually the header below the element that's below it now it's the text then the heading I'm gonna drag it up again so if you want to add a new element you just have to click on the plus button right here and it will show you all the blocks that you can add to the footer so some of the basic ones you can see here is a, a button heading icon you can pick a list there is a list of icons that will show you if I click on icon as you can see it will show me icons in here that you can pick from and there is a lot of icons you can pick from here and if you want to set your own icon image you can select it from here and add the image and resize it and you can even add a link for it but in my case I don't actually need it so I'm gonna delete it so as I said there is the basic things that you can add in here which is button heading icons image logo this one I need it actually I want to add a logo so I'm gonna click on logo and it will by default add the logo that I'm using on the header it will add it on the footer if you are wondering how to add a logo simply click on the settings icon right here at the top left corner click on it then you will see the first uh, section sorry the first option is logo and favicon click on it then select the logo from here and it will be added but in my case I already did so here is it did show up and on the right of the page you can select the size for the heading if you want to make it so, sorry the logo if you want to make it larger you can increase the number here pixels and it will be larger but it's too much yeah now it's good and if you want to enable custom size for the mobile you can enable this option it will give you a new sizes for the mobile so you can set different sizes for desktop on mobile but in my case I'm going to keep them same as uh, the mobile and again you can use the same ones in here to drag it down or up and this is based on your preference where you want to display the logo in my case I'm gonna keep it in the middle like this and there is the social media icons if you saw them in here but it's hidden if I enable them to be shown check this out they are very small if I clicked on them like this as you can see it says no customizable settings available so you cannot adjust this make it larger or smaller so I'm gonna hide them we're gonna add our own they look way better and this is the policy links right here they are added by default and they are required by law actually so make sure to keep them and later on I will show you how to actually uh, edit this powered by Shopify to make it edit uh, powered by your brand or something like that so now let's just add the payment icon so to add it just uh, anywhere you want you can click on plus or you can do that in here instead you can click on uh, add block then simply search for payment or you can scroll down and it will show you all the things that it has collection card collection title but some of the some of the things here are not suited for the footer for example collection card you cannot add it on the footer it's too large or custom liquid we will use this one later to add the social media icons and jumbo text this one is too large as you can see it's too large so not not very good this is based, based on perf personal preference of course so let's just add the payments icons and payment icons here is on the footer section this one is the footer section where you can add the things that's uh, usually added to the footer for follow on shop footer utilities which is already added and the payment icons simply click on it and it will be added in here here it is as you can see and it was added on the left side to change the position of the alignment simply on the settings right here it will show you alignment left by default you can click on it and pick center and it will be in the center as you can see and next now we will make them interactive just like I showed you earlier in case you want to add also the menu 
You can do that actually by clicking on the plus button again and simply search for menu and you can add the menu in here. Then you can pick from the right of the page if you want to add the main menu or you can replace it with other menus for the menu for example. You can select for a menu and it will show the photo menu which is the same ones on the uh, policy links as you can see so I don't need them. You can add a heading to the menu as well. So you can create a custom menu just for the uh, footer of your Shopify store but in my case I don't need it so I'm gonna delete it. Now before we make the payment icon interactive let's just add the social media icons and to add them simply on the left of the page select where you want to add them in my case I'm gonna add them in here on the left of the page so I'm gonna uh, below the content where it's uh, it has the email email sign up so I'm gonna add that in here so click on add plus button and search for custom liquid and you will see this option right here says custom liquid click on it and it will open up this tab right here on the right of the page where you can paste in some code and in here we need to pass in the code for the social media icons. Where are you going to get that code? From the description box of course. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link. My website completely free. Simply click on it and it will open up this website right here. Then scroll down and you will see the third code says interactive social media icons. Then simply copy it using this button and get back in here and paste it in the liquid block and zoom out and they will show up as you can see and no worries I will show you how to set the link for it because you can set you, you need to set the link for the social media so let's just reload the page and see how they look like as you can see they look like this but once I hover over it check this out they have that shine effect they are blue and same for the others each one shows the colors for the brand Instagram Facebook TikTok and YouTube and to set the link for them that's very easy you see on the code in here I added uh, common so you can see here is this ones are links simply search for those links on the code and change them This one says Facebook your page make sure to change the URL between the quotes Do not remove this quote if you rem accidentally remove this quote it will not work So make sure to change the URL between the quotes same for Instagram and TikTok and YouTube Then paste in the code in custom liquid and you are good to go now we need to make the icons interactive and also the logo will actually be black and white once I hover over it then it will show the colors to do so simply on my website the first code in here you will see it says make payment icons interactive simply copy the code again using the button right here copy the whole code then open up a new dashboard for Shopify then after that click on online store then click on teams then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code but for my case I'm doing demonstration on this one horizon so I'm gonna do it in here instead edit code then it will open up the code editor for my Shopify team and on the right of the page on the left of the page sorry using the search bar simply search for base.css and you will see this file base.css click on it then scroll all the way down let me drag this because it's a huge file and after that in case there is no space in here make sure to click on the last thing in my case uh, closing bracket then hit enter on your keyboard here we go we have a new space to paste in the code and which code the one you copied simply pass it in here click on save button wait for a couple of seconds we will get back in here reload the page let's just reload the page in here and see if they will become interactive let's just do that again here it is check this out once I hover over it each icon is interactive as you can see now to make the logo black and white once I hover over it shows color very easy my website again the second code this one says black and white logo and in color and hover click on the button to copy the code get back in here same exact file base.css but make sure to create new space again click enter then paste in the code hit save wait for a couple of seconds it save it now we'll get back in here reload the page and see if the logo is indeed black and white and here is black and white and once I hover over it it shows the color and it has smooth transition as you can see it doesn't quickly shows the color and it looks very good it creates a contrast between the logo on the header and logo on the footer as you can see now the next step is editing this little guy powered by Shopify to do so it is very simple Get back again to Shopify dashboard, then click on the three dots on, uh, on left of customize and click on edit default team content. And again, I'm going to do it in here because that's what I'm doing demonstration on. Click on edit default team content and it will open up a lot of words here that you can change and simply click on this icon right here on the right of the page, search icon, then search for powered and simply change the one in the middle, the one in the category that says checkout and system links this one right here 
simply type in here powered by Facebook or anything like that then click on save button and come back in here reload the page and the changes will be applied to this one and actually using this one you can change any text if you search here for add to cart you will find add to cart button as well here it is so you can change any word on your Shopify store by using this tool right here and that's how you edit and change your Shopify footer by using custom codes and using the blocks that's already available on team editor and if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one